have nowhere to put my phone, but no, look at the leg space. you looking to buy one get one get one get one get one they're they're so fun I can't even explain it what's going on YouTube welcome back to another video of the focus so last video when I was talking about what it's like to drive a stage 2 focus it did pretty well it looks like you guys were interested in seeing that so we're gonna be talking about cons basically all the bad things about this car at least my personal opinion this is for the people that want to buy a Focus or really just want to know what it's like. You know, everything has a good side, everything has a bad side. So in today's video, we'll be talking about the bad things about the Focus. So I'd say my least favorite thing on this car is the 911 assist on the Sync Sony radio, whatever. Now, what do I mean by that? Say I have music playing, you know, and if I were to brake or accelerate too hard, I even have 911 assist off. If I were to do that, it would turn off all my audio. Sometimes it can last one minute, sometimes it can last 30 minutes. Speaking of the radio, I'd say the audio system of this car is pretty dookie. I bought this car used, I bought it with 69,000 miles. When I bought it, this driver speaker right here literally turns on whenever it wants. One thing I gotta say about this car, actually really good, is the fuel economy. For the power that it puts out, I'd say it does really, really, really good on fuel. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the good, we're here to talk about the bad. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see the good about this car. Also, let me know if you want me to do a video just like this of the E34. Another thing I don't like about this car, these bucket seats have got to be the most uncomfortable thing when it comes to a long drive. For short drivers, for, for short, for short drives, they're perfect. I love them. But my girlfriend's always complaining, say we're in here for an hour or more, it gets really bad. Something else that bothers me about this car is that I have nowhere to put my phone. Other than like this right here, like Ashley's car has like this thing that I could put in here, it goes inside, but I have nowhere. Like if I were to have two cups, I gotta throw my phone in here on my lap and it's always sliding around. And then with that being said, the Bermuda Triangle of this car has got to be the worst thing I- Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's got to be the worst one I've ever I can't, I can't. Whenever my phone or wallet falls in there, bro, I have to- I can't, I can't do it. Another thing I do not like about this car is that I know the stock turbo is going to blow. This car builds so much boost on the low range. Like, sometimes I'll be trying to overtake somebody and I don't downshift or anything and I look and I'm building 10, 15 pounds of boost at 3,000, 2,500 RPM. That is so unhealthy for that poor little turbo. If you're going to get a Focus, I'd say always like be ready for that turbo to go because it just, it, it, it builds way too much boost on the low end. It's, it can't be healthy. I mean, it's not healthy. Something really good about the Focus, if you want one, is that I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that they come flex tuned. I only run 93, but I'm pretty confident you can run 89 and 87. Something else that kind of threw me off about the interior of this car was this. So I feel like this doesn't even like match at all. This looks real good. It matches with like the body line and the shape of the car. But this just looks like so cheap, like these little buttons and everything. One thing, if you're looking into a Focus, I've said it before, they only come in manual. Unlike the GTI that has both options, these only come in manual. So if you're not into that, don't buy a Focus. <laughs> They, or don't even waste your time. And speaking of the interior, another thing is this seatbelt, the passenger seatbelt doesn't click in and the chair is also kind of loose. I feel like whenever I hit a bump, it'll rattle and everything. But that seatbelt, the buckle is messed up. It literally does not buckle in, it's not safe. So guys, what do you think if I put this, if I wrap this carbon fiber and I put all the silver of this car with like a carbon fiber finish? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I feel like it'll look so cool. Just how I think I would have to get another shift knob. Also, with the Focus, say you're doing a 40 pool or whatever, the torque steer on these Focuses are so bad, it feels like you're literally wrestling the car. I mean, it throws you all over the place like that and it's just so tough. That's if you're spinning, of course, which is a front wheel drive. So on a 40 or 50, you'll most likely spin, even stock. Okay, let's see if I can do a pool to show you guys. Do it from 45. Oh my god. You just you 
you're basically just trying to keep it straight the whole time. But it's not like a real wheel drive car that'll fishtail. It's a lot easier to control. So if you're planning on buying a Focus and modding it, one thing about my car is how much drone it has. So I'm literally gonna give it throttle now. Let's see if you can hear it. It's so loud. Like all my coins are vibrating and everything. That comes with a with an exhaust. Uh, I'm sure other exhaust setups don't have this, but also if you're a tall dude, and my six two friend sat here, he fit fine. Then this isn't all the way back. It still has a couple inches back. But if you're gonna sit here, do not expect anybody to sit behind you. But yo, back there, there's no space. Even the way I'm sitting, and this is, my legs aren't even straight here. This is how I like it. But no, look at the leg space. Basically a coupe. So yeah, if you wanna bring all your friends in this car, forget about it. I took this car to Palm Beach for cars and coffee. I had Matthew here and Ashley in the back, and Ashley was sitting, or basically laying down on the bench so bad another thing that kind of bothers me about this car is the fact so here I can move my mirrors but I can't bring them in I have to tuck them in manually yes it's good but I just kind of wish like you know simple little things like electronic that I can just press a button but still kind of cool I can just fold them in I fold them in a lot too I've said it before but I do wish this steering wheel was a little sportier looking do wish it had a flat bottom steering wheel with I don't know, like a bigger top. I, I feel like that would look really cool. Other than that, the leather feels great. Something I hate is, so it comes with these lights under that can be blue, pink, orange, green, whatnot. But they're only here in the cup holder, here in the door handle, door sills, door sills, door handle, and then by your feet. But in the back, there's no lights whatsoever. All right, so now that it's nighttime, I want to show you guys the lights. So as you can see, the lights on my feet, the lights over there, the lights in the door but there's none at all back there. Other than that, I can't really think of much to hate about this car. That's the reason I bought it. If I were to buy something that I had a lot of problems with, then the problem is me, but I really do love this car. Those of you looking to buy one, get one. Get one, get one, get one. They're, they're so fun, I can't even explain it. Another thing I wish these cars had, which I'm gonna mention the Mustangs, but I know the 2014 Mustang did not have this. Um, because it was the S197, but the S550s do have where you can scroll through this menu here and see your coolant temp, uh, all that coolant pressure, your air intake pressure. I wish that is something that this car had. The menu does show you like fuel economy and why exactly you're getting it and whatnot. All right, so now that we've fueled up and basically done with all the cons of this car, I think it's time to get some turbo noises. pretty much the end of today's video I wanted to show you um, you know the reality of these cars and I mean not everything was bad but I wanted to say what I wish was better if that makes sense I bought the car so I mean there's not a lot of things that I dislike but everything has its good and everything has its bads so I just wanted to share that with you guys like I said multiple times if you're looking to get one bro pull the trigger literally the most I want to say reliable I mean I've been blessed but most fun daily it's pretty comfortable when it comes to driver and passenger back there forget about it you can put a lot of stuff back there I think in one of their YouTube videos they did like nine freaking suitcase bags back there but anyway it is a really really fun car so thank you guys so much for watching I'm, I'm gonna be posting at least once a week um, I will let you guys know what day it is but let me know if you like this these type of videos in the comments if you guys don't know I also have a 1994 530i which is an e34 and yeah I'm beyond happy to make this type of videos for both I've driven them enough to kind of understand them I've learned a lot about them since I got them so yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment and make sure to subscribe guys make sure to subscribe the last video I did like this got as of right now 600 views so if you guys like these seven videos let me know and I'm just gonna keep dropping them for you guys but anyway thank you guys and I'll see you guys next video
perfect. Yo, look at this, guys. Oh, <laughs> look at all the shape. <laughs> look how sprinkly it is. That's not bueno. Yo, let's see if you can get no, your fingers. Oh, I got it like that. Oh, ay, ay, so ay. 